In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a transition using the action script. So I'm going to show you what we will be doing. Skip. Uh, now you see how it just bounces back into place? That's what I'm going to be teaching you. Okay, you'd like to come back to the first layer the first frame on the actions panel and open up the actions by pressing F9 <coughs> okay come here make an enter and type this This is indicating that the transition will come in from right to left. Skip a few lines. I put go get code that's going to make twin work because if you don't mm, have time to memorize code you can always use the help which I will not be doing <coughs> cannot spell today import fl dot transition dot tween with the capital T semicolon VAR stands for variable home capital T on tween colon type tween to indicate that the home tween is a tween new tween The X is for the X axis. It slides across the X axis. Elastic means that little bounce that you see. Okay. <coughs> Copy this code or type this code in and you will find the transition on your home page going from right to left with a bounce as the animation falls in.
Now let's test it. Do -do -do -do. Push control enter. And I did something wrong. Uh -oh. I missed the comma. Sorry. There you go. You see how it just bounces in and then stops. It does not supposed to keep going. So I'm going to replay that. There you have your first transition on your home page. Thank you. Subscribe, rate, comment, and be ready for the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Welcome back. Last time I showed you the transition on the home page. This time I'm going to show you transition on the other pages. You do not need as much code for the other pages. All you need is this one line of code which you will be alternating to make your pages transition differently. Okay. For the picture page you want it to fade in. Well, I made it fade in. So, I made some changes. Here it said home, so I changed it to picture. Same as here. Ooh, same as here. And here I changed from X to alpha. Alpha makes it really dim, so you will not be able to see it. Here, oh crap. Here, you would like to change it to regular from elastic because you do not want it bouncing once it fades in. You would like to change this from 1000 to 0. So we start out so you don't see it at all. And within 3 seconds, it will become opaque, which is why you want this to be 1. Okay. With the about page, you have seen it bounce from right to left. Now you will see it bounce from lower to upper. You like to change this to <coughs> about from home. Same here. Here you would like to change it from X to Y. Leave this at 1000. To get this number, you would like to select the movie clip, go to properties, and look for the Y number, Y selection position. which is the number you will be putting in here you like to leave this at 3 because it should be finished bouncing within 3 seconds okay in the last page the contact page it's going to be a bit different once again change this from home to contact change this from home to contact and this we're going to scale on x axis which means it will look like it's squeezed at the beginning and expands at the end once it's finished loading so you like to have this at 0 and this at 1 and it should be finished loading by 3 seconds you can put more than 3 seconds, you put 5 seconds, 10 seconds but the more seconds you get the more members or visitors you will lose because it takes longer longer and I had a short time on this so I'm going to show you how it goes do, 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 do. okay you seen that okay now pictures it should fade in like this bounce up 
and bounce out. Thank you for watching my tutorial on transitions. <laughs> Rate, comment, subscribe. See you in the next tutorial. Adios.